Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Nice Hash Quick Miner. I got a lot of views on my previous video to the Beginner's Guide of Mining with Nice Hash, where we're utilizing the full GUI miner, but we're going to be focusing on the, I guess, simple kind of set it and forget it miner that Nice Hash has come up with. Now, there's a few things that I want to make sure that you are 100% aware not your keys, not your coins. If you're going to be mining, to a nice hash address that you do not own the private keys to and something goes wrong you can lose those assets as well not all hardware can mine cryptocurrency so you need to be aware of that but without further ado let's jump into it all right to get started we're gonna have to go to nicehash.com obviously and right there towards the top it has a nice button that says try mining now that's where we're gonna go to get the nice hash quick miner however you're gonna want to have an account already and kind of be logged in uh, you can do that by clicking get started up here in the right hand corner if I get out of your way you'll see it right behind me up here in the right hand corner click get started and then you gotta fill out the basic information now quick point that I want to make here is I have emails for various purposes of my life, business or otherwise. I wouldn't exactly, if you don't feel comfortable giving them your main email or personal email, then you can create one. Just obviously you want to maintain access to this email. Uh, you're going to want to enter in a password twice. The requirements for those passwords is right below it. Then you got to choose the country and then confirm by clicking this checkbox. Now I don't typically choose a checkbox to subscribe for news or blogs, but you can if you wanted to but once you have your account created and verified usually like every other website out there guys when you create an account fresh it's gonna send an email to that email address you need to log in and follow whatever steps are in it if that is the case go ahead and do that make sure your account is verified validated whatever it may be but come back to the main page nicehash.com click on try mining now and for me it's not showing up um, so I'm gonna have to download it again and then you'll see it come down here to the bottom left hand corner You're just gonna click that and it's gonna open up a mining program and now our window has changed now this this browser is listening for our miner you can see here and it's got excavator but the problem is is on this device I have an RX 6800 now I can mine with the RX 6800 just not all algos are support supported or the miner devs that develop these mining programs haven't uh, released updates to allow us to fully utilize the 6000 series as a whole whether it's the RX 6700 XT, 6800, 6800 XT, 6900 XT so that is not supported but I could at least show you this with the CPU you can see here I got the 5900X and it is supported CPU, CPU mining is enabled and I can go ahead and click this play button which actually just opened up another miner XMR rig which is going to start mining on my CPU uh, real quick though so we don't get choppy I'm gonna stop that hit pause and I stop mining now it's going to say you know create an account at some point in time but right now it's just showing us what we could be making you could change your value and fiat up here I'm on USD but they got euros uh, and, and various fiat currencies obviously the profits is, is variable it says $1.42 every 24 hours $42 a month just with CPU mining it does not show the GPU mining not all hardware is supported okay I get that question a lot they either have issues loading the program which usually is being stopped by the antivirus uh, to do to prevent that if you have like basic Windows Defender or something like that you need to go to virus protection come down here the virus threat protection settings click manage scroll down and go to exclusions and we want to hit add or remove exclusions and then this button right here add an exclusion we need I usually like to do folder and then I go to where that folder is like say downloads and then I after I add it I had to like to do file and actually choose the file that I'm trying to exclude from the antivirus scanning it or preventing it from working so that's the number one issue that people bump into the second one is hardware uh, your GPUs may be too old your CPUs may not be compatible it just depends hardware to hardware however this is with mining through nice hash 
uh, with the GPU, the RX 6800, I could at least mine it with a regular nice hash miner. And of course here it shows that we need we can go get it, but it wants me to create an account. I can actually get the nice hash miner directly through GitHub. And as long as I know my Bitcoin address, I can use that. However, just bear in mind that when you're mining to an address external from NiceHash, the payouts are going to take longer. And if you only have a single GPU, it's going to take even longer. Um, if you mine to a NiceHash address, which is a, a problem in my eyes, because you don't own the keys to those coins, and if NiceHash again goes down, something gets, happens, they get hacked, whatever, you lose those coins. So not your keys, not your coins. If you don't own the private keys, I said this many times before, there's a possibility or a risk there that you, you need to be willing to take. Uh, but I can get the official miner here and be able to mine with the RX 6800, just not with the quick miner. If you want to see the full tutorial beginner's guide on the nice hash, um, like full GUI, I will have that link down in the description below. Uh, right now, the only thing I can use is my CPU, but it's basically a web GUI that listens in connected to your miner if this is not running if I close this right now it's gonna error out and it's gonna tell me you know open it up again you know there could be a reason like here you go you know any virus may be stopping it you know it may have crashed please open it so I go back to my downloads and I double click it and boom we're back up and running again uh, of course the profits that I'm making off of this is not going anywhere because I don't have my nice hash account connected to this particular miner as we mine you can see here that there's a button that says claim bitcoins and start mining for real but to do so again it forces you to make an account with nice hash now last thing I want to leave you with before I get out of your hair considering what we heard from Linus Tech Tips and many others um, nice hash has been around for quite a while there's been they've been through some good things and some bad times but a lot of people still utilize their services. A lot of people still utilize their hash rate marketplace. For example, I can bid to you know pay X amount of money to rent hash power from users like you if you are mining on NiceHash and then you get a, pay, a percentage of that payment, NiceHash gets a small cut, and then I get whatever currency I have requested you guys to mine, whether it, or whatever cryptocurrency is supported and, and the algos that are available in Nice Hash Marketplace. So I just want you to know I prefer to direct mine my cryptocurrency, but Nice Hash Quick Miner does offer you an opportunity to really quickly get set up. Uh, once you have the miner installed on, or at least downloaded to your downloads, when you come back to the website and you hit try mining, this is what you're going to see. You just got to go back to your downloads and double click the nice hash quick miner and it will start right back up and then you can control it with this web GUI. Okay. So very simple to use. Unlike the full blown GUI, uh, which I, I personally would prefer if I were to continue to use uh, nice hash, not the quick miner, but it is an easier way for, uh, entry-level users to get in and get involved into mining crypto so that's about it for today guys thank you so much for watching do me a favor check out the links down below especially linked to dogelord.com where you can get shirts like this it helps support the channel and I greatly appreciate it got some new merch for you uh, that will be available if it's not already by the time I release this video hit the like button on the way out subscribe for more content like this and I'll catch you guys in the next one take care Thank you.